Yo guys, what's up, Jonas here, and in today's video, I'm showing you how you can fix the SU413334 error on the PS4, aka they cannot start your PlayStation. So what you have to do is to hold the power button to start your PS4 in, sa in safe mode. Once you start your PS4 in safe mode, you're gonna go ahead and connect your controller via USB cable and then press the PlayStation button in the middle. Once you do that, you will be directed to the safe mode settings. The first thing you can try to do is to rebuild, re rebuild your database. I do not guarantee that rebuilding the database will actually fix your issue or even reinstalling the soft system, so updating system software throughout the USB. So usually when you get this error, the only thing you can do or most probably you can do is to initialize your PS4. But if you initialize your PS4, you're going to lose your data. You're going to lose your offline data, your saved data, your games, your updates. Everything will be gone, but your online progress will never be gone. It's not, it's not related to your system software. But what if you want to initialize your PS4, I recommend you to initialize using a USB and re-updating the system software, the latest update. So click on the link in the description to go and download the PS4 update file. Once you go ahead and download the PS4 update files, you're going to go ahead and create a folder on your uh, desktop and name it update with capitalize. And then you put this .pup file inside this folder and once you put this folder uh, you're gonna put it on your USB device and then you're gonna put your USB device into your PS4 and then you're going to hit update uh, like initialize using a USB where you have downloaded for example at the moment when I'm doing this video the latest update is the 7.02 now, uh, uh, if you can, if you want, try to update uh, from the USB storage device. Though I'm not really sure that this will fix it. Usually, this error uh, makes you initialize your PS4. But keep in mind, you will lose everything you've downloaded on your PlayStation. Now, if you want to recover some of the things that you have uh, lost or that you will lose, do, do watch this part of the video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications because I'm gonna keep uploading more tutorials like these. So once you are on your system, you can go ahead and go to the settings page. On the settings page, you can scroll down and find storage. So in your system storage, you will lose your application data, your capture gallery, your themes, everything that you have downloaded will be gone. You have to keep that in mind, guys, because uh, this is not like initializing your PS4, it's like almost making it brand new, if you know what I mean. But if you want to save some of the storage, you can copy it into a USB storage by putting a USB in your console and then copying the data. For example, the save data for your like uh, career for the games, you can go ahead and copy them into USB storage device when you have it plugged in. If not, when you go when you turn on your PS4 after initializing, if you go to your library section, you will see everything that you have downloaded from the PlayStation Store. So the purchases are not gone. You just have to re-download them again. And you have some safe data on your PlayStation Plus as well. So if you have PlayStation Plus, but I haven't, you can re-download some data that was saved on there to save your online progress and careers and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in the next video. Peace.